In this brief tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to fill and prepare the patient sample drying tube with breath prep and quincaeus. The patient sample drying tube is used for all samples being analyzed on site that were collected in a syringe using Quintron's gas sampler or alveo sampler testing kits. To do this, you will need breath prep, foam filter plugs, the patient sample drying tube, a syringe and stopcock, and your calibration gas. Remove one end cap from the patient sample drying tube and insert a foam filter plug. Reinsert the end cap. Remove the other end cap. Next, remove the cap from your breath prep desiccant. Insert the funnel end of the desiccant into the drying tube end to allow the desiccant to fill the tube. Leave yourself about three quarters of an inch from the top of the drying tube. Now, insert another foam plug and then the other end cap. Don't forget to replace the cap on your breath prep desiccant. The contents inside are sensitive to humidity and do expire when the blue granules turn to pink. Now that we are done filling the tube, remove the black ends from both end caps. Using your Quintron syringe and stopcock, insert the syringe into the gas transfer valve. Press down on the valve to withdraw at least 30 milliliters of gas. Now close the stopcock. Insert the stopcock into the female end of the drying tube, open the stopcock, and expel all gas through the drying tube into the open air. We are going to do this procedure twice because the drying tube requires 60 milliliters or more of calibration gas to be ran through it after each new fill of the tube. You do not need to do this unless you have refilled the tube with fresh desiccant. After you have completed injecting 60 milliliters of quin gas through the tube, replace the end caps. Your drying tube will now be ready to use for patient samples. Remember to always follow the instructions within your operator manual for the breath analyzer you are using and any products associated. For more information, please visit us at www.breathtests.com.